don't mind. Um, last night we had the unusual situation of a, of a manager, QPR, saying that the, he was criticising the fans for leaving early, saying the team needed them. I remember you saying you felt alone a couple of years ago when you saw the fans leaving. I just wondered, is that still the case? How important are the fans and how much can they affect you and the team if they do leave games early? They can make all the difference. They can make all the difference. That's how it is. We felt it a week ago in, 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 in Seville. So I'm pretty sure in an empty stadium or at Anfield, we are 3-0 up. I don't think it would have happened even when the German derby, Dortmund Schalke showed a little bit in another way. Um, but it's, it's much more difficult. So football only really works, in my understanding, when we all play together, when we all work together. And that means it involves the crowd. 100%. So we do it only because people are interested. When they leave, it feels it feels strange. You play, players don't stand in the stadium and watch. Oh, people go home, but you you feel it. You feel it, and that's of course you can imagine that that's um, if you are we work for television, it's a difference if you have a, a crowd around you or if you're alone in a studio. So that's that's a, a big difference, and um, so that's how it is for us. Of course, we can we can perform better when the atmosphere is is there, and um, yeah. I'm happy that I'm not the only person on this planet who sees it like this. Well, Jürgen, you know what Stoke are all about now. Um, we have this football cliche in England about going to Stoke on a wet, cold Wednesday night, which is probably exactly what it's going to be, yeah. isn't it, tomorrow night? Um, <laughs> what approach do you take going there, and, and what challenge will they be for you? Yeah, it's, uh, actually, when we were there last time, the weather was good, to be honest. But, um, uh, at least this time it will be dark and probably windy, and um, that's that's how it is. But Stoke, I, I, I can see it like this, but but Stoke for sure is a, is a difficult place to go because there's a, a, a really a, it's a good side, fantastic manager, uh, very experienced manager, and, and and the team is experienced as well. So that's how it is. They 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 live for moments like this, if you want, in his home games, floodlight atmosphere, stuff like this. That it's nice, but we are not there to to enjoy. Any atmosphere or suffer under any atmosphere, we are, we go there to to get the points. That's 100% clear, and uh, that's nice, by the way. Um, that that's 100% clear, and um, that's what we have to show. But that it will be difficult. Yeah, you're right. We know about that. Mauricio Pochettino, the Tottenham manager, conceded the Premier League title over the weekend, which was was interesting after the draw against West Brom. 14 points behind. Do you concede the title race? Oh, if I can see, I see the title. Can see <laughs> we are close enough to see it. Um, yeah, I have no clue. So I don't know what I saw. I saw um, the game against Huddersfield. So yes, it was deserved that Man City won, but at the end, it was not like um, Huddersfield could not have one or the other moment. So the last game before that, I think City won one nil. I think in the Champions League, when I'm one hundred percent sure. So they win. And it's, as long as they win, nobody else has a chance. If they stop winning and other teams um, have then, are then in a good moment, then pretty much each distance, um, point-wise, um, yeah, it's possible uh, that you can can get them. Still, but I don't care about that in a moment. Not for us, and I'm not sure if other people, if other teams are doing it. We want to have the next three, and then the next three, and then the next three. Because if anybody struggles, you need to be there, but not. For us in a moment, so they are too far away, of course. And if they if they keep on going like this, nobody has a chance, right? Then it's already decided. James, just looking back at last year's game at Stoke, um, how big a moment was that for you in terms of your top four hopes and and, and the character that the, the players showed as well? It was fantastic. We had the, the, I, I, actually I don't know one hundred percent anymore. It was after international break, was it or why came? Um, I think so. And injury problems, and we had to change, and we had to change, or we thought we have to change the system, and um, it didn't work really well. First half was not a good game from both sides, but um, I think um, Stoke was was okay f with um, the way the game went until the specific point, and um, so we changed and in the second half twice, and, and Phil and Roberto made quite a difference. That was uh, nice, and uh, but um, I think the. The situation of the game was the save of Simon Mignolet <laughs> from half a yard distance or um, something like that. So, yes, 
can see it's quite a remarkable, remarkable game. I didn't think about it in the, in the, in the preparation for, for that, but now when you ask me, obviously it was um, there were a few nice situations. I know about. Yeah, I could draw the game at uh, the goal of Roberto. Nice pass, Ginny, I think. Yeah, and then Roberto um, scored the goal. So yeah, it was a good day for us. One of the accusations that was levelled at your team last season is that you you played really well and got good results against the sides in, in the top six, but sometimes struggled against the so-called lesser sides. But this season you've beaten uh, Crystal Palace, Leicester, uh, West Ham, uh, Southampton. Uh, do you feel like that is a uh, an area of progression for the team. But we didn't win against the top six now, huh? so yeah. <laughs> um, no, we, no, we. Um, yes, we made we made progress 100%. 100%. We, we, we became more clean, especially more patient in in the right way in the in, in specific games. Very very important for us. Um, but last year we had a, a few really really good games against. I don't even want to use that word against the, the teams, which yeah, the other teams. So, um, so we had good performances, but we didn't score. That's how it is. That happened already this year again. It's not. We, we all we can still could still talk about this, but it's not important anymore. We have now match day 14, probably 13, um, and then we have to uh, we have to consider that the shape was the most moments really good. We were in a really good shape. Did we get all the results? No, that's 100% true. But we we feel on a good way. We feel really on a good way. And um, um, Chelsea is an unbelievable difficult team to play, and we played them in a manner which was completely different to the last two years. We won there, but it was completely different. We dominated them. They came here and gave us the ball and said and and, and said, okay, come on, try something. And we were. There um, and 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 did did it so that's that's fantastic absolutely fantastic but at the end you want to win or you have to win but we didn't but we still feel on, I still feel that we are on a on a good way and that's what we have to to show again and again and again and again um, and uh, at least until the end of January that, that that is now really a decisive period of the season and we need to be 100% spot on but my feeling is we are. Can you just check on fitness issues? Yes, Dan probably will be close. Um, it's not a big thing. It's a little bit of a swelling. We have to we have to figure out what is exactly. He will he will try to run now in a, in a few minutes. I spoke to him a, a second ago. Um, Emre is back. Emre is back. Um, it was not a big thing, but it was big enough. He couldn't play the last game, but he um, he's back and and uh, yeah, for the squad for sure. With the, the run of games you've got now, maybe to the end of the year, how in, you you rest you've rested Marley and Firmino on Saturday. How far ahead are you looking in terms of where you're managing those players? Or is it just is it match by match now? I think that makes most sense. You cannot. By the way, we don't rest. We use other players, <laughs> and that. Implicates that there's rest for another player, but that's not uh, that's not that was not the, especially not the reason for this game now for the last one that we thought against Chelsea well, maybe he needs rest or whatever no it was really more we needed fresh legs against Chelsea and that's what we what we wanted to have and um, actually I, I thought it worked quite well um, so it's very important it was a very important sign for the squad from my side that I show really the faith in all and in, in, in all the boys pretty much all and. Um, it was very important for me that the boys showed me that they are 100% ready. So that was good. That was really good. And probably we'll make um, one or two changes from the last game to the next game. Um, and then maybe not for the, the next game. We will see how we, how we, how we deal with that. It all, it all depends to the impression I can, I can get during the games and during the sessions. And um, then we make decisions. Okay, uh, no? No? okay guys, we'll call it that. Then we'll ask uh, Okay. Thank you. See you.